This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Let's get the day started. <laughs> I had a trouble waking up today, but I'm good. Uh, I, slow start to my morning, but let's get right into it. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so just to remind you, Tommy G's, he is arrested because he ran over somebody in Harlem uh, because he had a problem with the guy. Not only was the guy walking with a child, imagine this, and this guy sees him. Uh, Tommy G sees him, pulls his car, tries to hit him on the sidewalk, then gets out and slashes the dude. Savage. He's a savage. Uh, so anyways, that's what's going on with that. We'll, we'll, uh, no updates yet. Then we got Omarion taking that money away from B2K. He cancels B2K. They were supposed to maybe go on another tour in 2020. But he's getting, you know, little fizz is trying to like, you know, bother him with the April situation, then also trolling him with like certain comments, like on the phone with your baby mom and all this. Jay Boog allegedly slept with Omarion's mom. Jay Boog's saying little fizz broke up the group again. You know, it's just not gonna work. Okay, so these guys are messed up because Omarion is the leader of the group. Okay, so. He's going on tour with Bow Wow. He said, you know what? You guys are messy, man. I'm going on tour with Bow Wow. Meanwhile, J-Bug, Little Fizz, and Raz B could really use that money. They're going to have to go on a tour without Omarion if they have any hope of doing anything. But Little Bow Wow and Omarion are teaming up to go on tour uh, in 2020. Then we got Cameron, sadly, send good vibes Cameron's way. Um, he reacted to losing... His best friend, his girlfriend, you know, his girl on and off again girlfriend. I think they were together right before he left. But, you know, border, bottom line, almost family, you know. And he said, first off, I want to thank my family, friends, and fans for the condolences. I really appreciate it. This is not my son's mother. My son's mother is fine. This is someone I went out with years ago, and we got back together a year and a half ago. And I had the best time of my life during that period. She was the person I spent three, four nights a week with. The person I spoke to on the... On this, this, this is sad, man. This, is, this must hurt. So send good vibes his way. He says, I spoke to her on the phone seven, eight times a day. The person I fell asleep on the phone with. The person I spent my summer with. The person I was planning Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and our birthdays with. The person who puts me on high-end fashion. My biggest supporter, the person that wouldn't let you talk about me while she was around. I could go on and on, but this was really the love of my life. Man, this is sad. Um, I had so many close people pass away. I thought I was numb to death, but this past week has taught me I'm not. I chose to keep this relationship private because the same way media is acting now, speculating, reporting without facts. But T, I'm truly going to miss you. You're my best friend. You're the true definition of homie, lover, friend. My condolences go to their entire family, especially her three kids, mom, brother, and Logan. She loved all of you guys unconditionally. It's time for me to get out and get back to it. I know what, that's what she would want, best friends. That makes you want to cry, man, because you, you can feel that in the message, so... Sending good vibes to Cameron, man. We we all have felt the pain of loss. And um, I just hope that, um, you know, you can get through these times. They're hard, you know. And uh, I know Cameron has a great family, baby mom, son, you know. So I, I'm sure their love will get them through. Um, and I'm sure working, you know, will help him get it through too. Because, it'll you know, he's dropping Purple Haze too. And I know he's probably like, in one part of him, he doesn't care anymore. But I know that will be a, you know, we need distractions in life, you know, um, with anything. So um, I hope that gets him through these hard times too. And fans that, that truly love Cam. Cam, Cam's, Cam, Cam's, we don't deserve Cameron in this culture, man. Seriously. He's, he's pretty amazing. Uh, anyways. Then we got Fat Joe. This is just, this isn't a dig at Fat Joe. It's just a dig at being smart with money. Uh, Fat Joe, I'm not saying he's not smart with money because obviously he's very successful 
You know what I like about Fat Joe? I'll say some positive things. I like that he put on Remy Ma, Big Pun, put them before him in a lot of situations. Most rappers don't do that. Now, there's these reports going out that he spent $500,000 on a Rolls Royce Cullinan, upgraded it and everything. But yeah, all this car is, is not a BMW, because BMW owns Rolls Royce. All the same stuff is in a Rolls Royce that's in a BMW. It's just handcrafted. And it's like a BMW X7. A BMW X7 starts at $73,000. A Cullinan starts at $350,000. Now, I'm assuming Fat Joe's just so smart that he's probably leasing this and writing it off. Because it really is a write-off because this is part of his image. I can't imagine he bought the car because you can't write off as much. So... You know, I think there's a lot of false reports saying he souped it up and all that. But, uh, you know, it's a nice car. But I would get a BMW X7. It's big, like the Conan. It's basically the Conan. Same kind of seating arrangements, TVs, all that. 73000 You save yourself a couple hundred thousand. That's a, that's a house. <laughs> Not at Fat Joe's level, but it's a house for somebody. Anyways, this is Jordan Tell with JT News. I appreciate you guys so much, and I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are staying motivated, hopefully have some family or friends to spend Thanksgiving with. That's what Thanksgiving is about. It's about coming together as a family. You know, I know a lot of people will, uh, it's about, uh, I'm not going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is about family, man. It's not about all that other stuff. You know, I know there's a lot of people don't celebrate Thanksgiving because of the, you know, the whole thing with the pilgrims and the Indians and all that. It's deeper than that now. It's a time to pause, take some time out, kick back with family and relax. And that's how you should look at Thanksgiving, you know, because you're thankful for your friends and family. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing like about the past. Let's move to the future. This is what Thanksgiving means to us. Getting together with friends and family. Um, I, I hate it when people try to be, you know, taking a stand on a holiday it's like who cares man like get together with your family eat some food and relax and i hope you guys are able to let loose and you know just forget about the struggles of life and enjoy your family or friends love you guys peace